How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, March 27th. It is a little after 5 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Um, I, I just wanted to come on here and start the video um, and kind of segue into what we're going to do this weekend. Um, we really didn't do anything big on the farm today. Um, I'm in the semi right now with Miss Sadie. Uh, we just got, we did a whole bunch of, we came down to where we are right now, loaded up a load of corn for a, another farmer, took it up to Cedar Rapids for him. Then we went and grabbed some cracked corn and took it for a customer. And then we came back and loaded with another load of corn. Uh, Scott loaded the black Peterbilt. With that, he took a load of beans to Des Moines. And then when he got back, he came down here with that truck, loaded it with corn. We came down here with this truck and loaded it up with corn. And now Dad and Scott are currently loading the Kenworth with corn. So it'll be four loads of corn for this guy that we have hauled, that we have gotten on wheels anyway. And uh, that's all we've really done today. So nothing really big today. But I wanted to come on here, first of all, to do a big introduction because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. Um, but this weekend is our annual tax swap that our local saddle club hosts that we're, that I, that we're a part of. And uh, we were there last year at the tax swap. Uh, if you want to see what we did last year, go to the video titled Driving, uh, what was it called? Driving Horses, Mules, and Cows, or mule, uh, Driving Mules, Horses, and Cows. Uh, one of those combinations. Um, we, we were, the video took place at the tax swap last year, and pretty much the same thing is going to happen this year. They're going to have uh, draft horse teams and the mule team, and they're going to be doing demonstrations, and I'm going to be able to drive a few draft horse teams again this year. So I'm going to take you guys along with me for that. See if I still got the rope. See if I still know what to do when it comes to driving a draft horse team. And uh, obviously our tack store, we're going to be uh, selling tack there as well. But uh, that's going to be the big plan for this weekend. So kind of some off-the-farm action and then whatever we decide to do, uh, whatever whatever happens uh, during the normal weekend, we will. I'll take you guys along with me for that as well. But I also wanted to come on here and say a big, big thank you because I woke up this morning at about three o'clock this morning. I had my alarm set for three forty-five so I can go. Uh, obviously, so I can get up and go walk hogs, get the hogs chored this morning. And uh, but I woke up earlier than that. I just naturally woke up at like three a.m. And I've been looking at my phone uh, since I put out the last video, just kind of seeing how it was doing. I was just doing a checkup on it. And I saw that we hit 300 subscribers on this channel. Um, I released a post today on the channel um, saying thank you, but I wanted to film a clip of me saying thank you as well. Thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart for 300 subscribers. Um, for everybody who has joined the journey, welcome aboard. Um, feel free to... Uh, stick around because we got a lot going on we got a lot going on this spring from uh planting season starting to we have race season coming up in exactly a month uh, april 28th is the first race so uh we are slowly yet surely getting the car ready to go uh we have an oil change to do on it yet uh we might go ahead and put a new battery in it for the year uh do some minor things just to get it ready to rock and roll Cosmetically, she's ready to go. She just has to do a, some preseason uh, stuff to it. Like I said, the oil change and making sure the battery's good and everything else. We got that. We got race season coming up. We got a lot going on this spring. So stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun this spring going into the summer. But uh, once again, thank you guys so very much for 300 subscribers. It means the world to me. Um, like I've told, like I've said in a few videos, you guys are like my my YouTube family. So uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around and riding along with me as I learn these new experiences on the farm, learning and growing in the field that I love so much. So thank you guys so much for 300 subs, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get through my short work week this week. I only have to work three days this week because I'm taking uh, the day before the tax swap off so we can set up our booth. And then, of course, the day of the sale, I'm taking off so that I can participate in the events and so that I can help tear down and stuff afterwards. So I'm taking you guys along with me for that. So thank you guys so much for watching so far, and I will see you guys at the tax swap this weekend. Walk on. Come on, girls. So we are at the tax swap right now. Uh, the weather kind of really changed some things. We had some severe storms come in yesterday some tornadoes down south we had some storms going on and so we don't have as many horse teams here this year as we did last year but uh we're uh driving 
Katie and Kelly, the mules. We drove them last year. You guys got to see them in the video from last year. But we're at it again this year. I'm, I've been testing my skills and uh, definitely uh, a lot better than I was last year. And I wasn't as rusty as I thought I was gonna be. These girls have been doing awesome. We went outside for a little bit and uh, I think I might take them for one more lap outside since I got them here at the door. Since we're about to unhook them and put them back in the trailer for the day. I might take them back outside here. See what, uh, see what we can do here. Come on girls, let's go back outside for a little bit. That's it. Let's go outside one more time. How about that? I want to hit the, the bowl here. Oh, it's bright. Oh, we might have a rider. We have a, we have a kid coming up to us here. So we're going to keep on driving and having some fun. Unhook the chain. Unhook the chain. We're grabbing new anhydrous tanks today. We're in the middle of good field work. We've been running big iron with the vertical tiller. We're running the 8320 spreading anhydrous. And we're also running the 4830 sprayer. We just dropped off those empty anhydrous tanks. Tom is running the 8320 right now, putting on anhydrous, but we're bringing in some new tanks for him. Which one are we gonna grab? We're gonna grab this bad boy, right here. All right, we dropped off the anhydrous tanks that we just picked up from town. There is Big Iron, the 8850 with the vertical tiller on it. Um, I figured I would take this a uh, quick minute here to, for those of you who don't know what anhydrous ammonia is, pretty much it is a liquefied nitrogen gas that serves as fertilizer, nitrogen fertilizer. Um, you hook it to a machine that works up the dirt and works the anhydrous into the ground. And uh, that's how uh, that's how obviously you apply it to the ground. But uh, we kind of have a process. Scott has is running the 8850 today. He's climbing aboard right now. Um, that, that works up the dirt initially. And then the other tractor, the 8320 will come out, I believe, and do anhydrous. And then the sprayer will come out and spray uh, the bean prep. We, right now we have our bean preparation mixture in the tanks so we can prep for bean ground. So I thought I'd tell you guys that. We are back at the shop now. And there be the 8320 working the anhydrous. He's got the anhydrous bar on and obviously he pulls the anhydrous tanks from behind and it uh, applies the uh, anhydrous but this is the first time I'm seeing the 8320 run. You know, first time I ever, ever since I, you know, ever since we've had the tractor, every time I've been out here, it's just been in the shop waiting to go. So here's our first glimpse at the 8320 in action, putting on anhydrous, which like I said, is a liquid fertilizer, a nitrogen fertilizer. Look at that girl run. Woohoo! I like it. How's it going, everybody? It is now the 10th of April, Monday. It's about, I'd say about 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, we just got back to the shop from doing our trucking today. We had to go down to an elevator, grab a load of beans, haul it down south, do a quick little Yui, go into the feed plant, get our load of cattle feed for a customer that uh, was close here to the shop. We brought it back. Dad is currently backing up the peat, getting it parked. But oh my gosh, I need to take my jacket off, if anything. It's wonderful out today. It's like 70 some degrees. The wind is very light at maybe five to five, maybe five to 10, five, maybe 15. So that means it's gonna be a great day. Turn this old girl, the 4830 the sprayer and here is our spray trailer that's got our water tanks and our chemicals and stuff that we need pulled by the old trusty steed this is carol 
She is a 1979 International Trans Star. Beautiful, beautiful truck. So, we're going to see what we need to do, get stuff ready, and we'll go from there. Woohoo! She's warming up. So we got our half ration completely mixed up and I have grabbed everything that we need for another two fills of the sprayer and we're going to load it onto the spray trailer. So I'm going to move my Gatorade here, pop in the Ranger and haul it out there. Dad's already moved the sprayer. We have Carol warming up. So I'm going to get these out there and get them loaded up. Sadie dog, you better hurry up, let's go. Come on, get in the truck, let's go bye bye. That's our girl, Gubber, you know the drill, yeah. So, we've got the sprayer all ready to go for where we are gonna be for the time being. I'm hopping in the pickup here in just a minute. I'll get it started here and get the AC going. Can't believe we're running AC already. It's amazing outside today, a little hot. We're in AC weather today. Turn this on. Let's turn it to air conditioning. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm taking the pickup over to the field where we are going to be spraying. Dad is currently in Carroll. He's coming around the bend here. I'll show you as he's coming. He has Carroll and the spray trailer, and he is going to run it into town to the fertilizer place where we can get our water tanks refilled. He's going to go ahead and refill our water for us. Here she goes. Woo, Carol! Yes! Oh, girl! All the chemicals that I loaded in the Ranger are in that side box there on the side so that it all, it's always with the spray trailer. So we have all the chemicals that we need. So it's gonna take him a little while to get uh, refilled. But pretty much I am taking this down to the field that we're gonna spray. So if we need to get out of there to go grab something or something like that, we have a pickup to do so. Um, and so that dad, he's going to meet me down there at that field with Carol and we're going to shut Carol down and so that she is at least parked where we need her to be. And then I got to give him a ride back in this pickup so that we can grab the sprayer that's sitting over there on the other side of the shop, grab the sprayer, he'll grab the sprayer and I'll follow him down so that, like I said, we have a pickup down there and then we'll hop in the sprayer together and we'll start spraying. So I'm going to go ahead and get on down there and chill out for just a little bit until he arrives. CJ, where are we? Where are we? Hello, baby. CJ is down here. I have to leave Sadie in the truck because like I've said in multiple videos, she just doesn't know this area. But uh, this is the field. This is actually the last field. The shop is actually right up there where the hoop building is. You can see the shop there. 
Uh, we are over here just north of Scott's dad's at the cow farm. There's our bins and the cows are here. There's the 7410 with the drill on it right now. Um, I think we're gonna actually be going over down into the steep hills. Uh, I don't think we're gonna start right here just yet. I think we're gonna go ahead and go through. Dad wants to be kind of lighter. He wanted to do half a batch and do the steep hills up north a little bit of this field so we're lighter. So we're not having so much weight on the steep hills. Get the steep hills done. And then we will refill with a whole batch and we will begin spraying on the flatter ground. Tom, I seen his pickup on the way down here. He is actually in the field. I guess I, I haven't seen the actual tractor, but where that gray house is over there, you can see where the dirt is not worked up. He, I seen his pickup parked in that field there at the entryway of that field. So I assume that is where he is currently with the 8320 running anhydrous. And Jonesy, I think is up north a little ways um, with Big Iron and the vertical tiller doing some vertical tilling. So we're all in different fields today. We're over here at Scott's dad's doing some spraying. Tom is just east of us over there doing some anhydrous work. And I think Jonesy is up north a ways. Well, I know Jonesy is doing uh, vertical tilling, but I think he's up north a ways. But uh, I figured I would give you guys a look at the cows. Um, because calving season has kind of closed on us now. Uh, we haven't had many calves. Uh, it was not a very good year for calving. Uh, this didn't have that many bred cows this year. Um, but uh, the only cows that we still have that are expecting calves are our pregnant heifers. We do still have quite a few of them that are expecting calves. So I'll kind of go, since I'm waiting a while anyway for dad, I've got Sadie in the truck with the AC on, so she's good. She'll lay down and take a nap. But um, I'm right. I'm coming up here to the heifers. This is the lot where our pregnant heifers are, and the number of pregnant heifers in this lot. Can I guess the UPS man is here with a package? Sweet. But the number of pregnant heifers in this lot keeps going down. Hi, Ruby. I was wondering when you were going to come and meet me. Hello. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Here comes CJ now that she sees me playing with her sister. Sadie's barking in the truck. She wants to play. I wish I could let her out, but I can't down here. CJ, come here. CJ, where'd you go? You're not CJ. You're not CJ. Get down. You know better. But anyways, the number of pregnant heifers in this lot continues to decline. Here she comes, CJ Dog. There's Sissy. Yay, Sissies. You guys love to play. You go on, don't antagonize the cows too much. But anyways, the number of pregnant heifers continues to decline in this lot because every time that a heifer delivers her calf, we uh, they've been leaving the heifer and the calf here for a few days to uh, make sure that the calf's okay, make sure that they bond, um, make sure that they bond, make sure that they do what they need to do. And actually, I think I just heard a calf moo. Do we have a calf in the barn? Maybe that's what happens. I guess I haven't been in the barn yet. But anyway, the calf, we make sure that the calf's okay. We make sure that uh, mom and baby bond. And when mom and baby bond, we take them out of that lot because we also did some moving around in the south lot. If you guys remember, the south lot was divided and we had the steers and the open heifers on this side and we had the cows from the breeding herd and the older calves on the other side. But they have since, um, in the matter of the past couple weeks, they have moved all the breeding herd the breeding herd and their calves have been moved up to the pasture. Um, what I always used to call the heifer lot up north with the big steep hills and the creek where we herded them up at in the herding cattle video. So they are out at pasture, the cows and the older calves. And so the, so the, the, so the steers here, the steers and the open heifers have both sides. That gate is open now. So they have the whole lot, the whole south lot to themselves 
It's a nice dry day. They can run around a lot. Hi guys. How are you guys? So the cows and the older calves are up at pasture. So pretty much what happens is when the heifer has her calf, we make sure that mom and baby bond and make sure that both of them are gonna be okay. And then when that happens, um, they end up loading mom and baby up and they end up going up to the pasture as well. And mom joins the breeding herd and the calf can go play with the other calves. I thought I heard a calf in here, I did. So I assume this is what happens. I assume, easy mom. I assume this is what happens right here. When, when, mom and, when mom has her calf, they get moved into the barn to make sure that mom and baby bond. I don't wanna get super close because mom's already really agitated. Are you messing with the kitty? Can't quite tell where the calf is. I think he's over behind that bale. Scott's been bottle feeding him, so it's something, I don't know what the situation is with this calf, but uh, I assume what happens is mom and baby come in here and they bond in the barn, and then when mom and baby are both okay to go, they get released into the pasture up with the cows and the uh, older calves, and mom will join the breeding herd at that point. Um, easy, mom. So the number of pregnant heifers continues to decrease as we move them out to pasture. There's baby. Hi. You're kind of curious, aren't you? I don't want to get super close because like I've told, like I've said in the past, heifers are very, very territorial. Well, all cows are, but heifers especially. Hi, baby. Yeah, that gate's shut. You can't come out of there. Hello. Hi. I think I can get, I think I can get a little close. Can you, do you want to say hi to everybody? Hello. Can I pet you? Hello. Hi, baby. So this is our, I guess, our most recent calf anyway. Looks awful young, but definitely at least a couple days old. He's up and moving around, having a good time. Go see mom, baby. Good job. Go see mommy. Go see mom. Unless you're gonna come back and see me. You can come back and see me? Hi. Come on, Ruby, let's leave him alone. I don't wanna agitate mom too much. I don't feel like dying today. <laughs> but, so I guess that's what happens. That is our most recent calf, I suppose. And eventually, when mom and baby are okay, they will get turned out, they'll get loaded into the stock trailer, and they will get taken out to pasture. Which, with the, like, the day that we had yesterday, and today, with it being so warm, we're supposed to be warm all week long. So it's going to be really, really nice to be out at pasture. Um, so they'll be turned out to pasture here, hopefully soon. But I figured I'd give you guys an update on the cows while we are waiting for dad to show up with Carol and the spray trailer, which will still be a while. That's why I figured I'd take some time and uh, ramble about the cows for a little bit. So the number of cows that are staying here is decreasing every so often um, because like I said, every time a pregnant heifer has a calf, they get pulled into the barn. They make sure that they're okay. And then they go way up north to pasture so they go out to pasture and have the time of their lives so that's kind of how that works but i think i'm just gonna wait now it is kind of hot doesn't help that i'm wearing a dark colored t-shirt but i'm gonna probably sit in the pickup so that sadie doesn't feel lonely watch some youtube do something until dad shows up with carol in the spray trailer and then I'll run him back to the shop and grab the sprayer. We'll bring it back down. And once we get to that point, I will probably climb aboard the sprayer with dad. And uh, we're going to go spray him. So I got bored sitting in the pickup. And so I came out and Scott's dad actually came up in his gator and was chatting with me for just a minute. We were talking and, uh, and then uh, he left and I, I stayed outside and enjoyed the breeze and all of a sudden I heard a tractor running and I guess uh, Scott had come down and he's up there now with the JCB and he I think he's feeding cows because he pulled the 47 out and he's uh, got it running with the feed wagon and so I thought I'd come up here and uh, check on the pregnant heifers and I caught a pleasant surprise I guess I like I said I, I haven't been out here with the cows for a while it walked away because the dog scared it but there is a calf out here a heifer a heifer must have had a calf and the calf is wandering around out here a little white-faced calf 
Where'd it go? It was laying right up here, like up against this rock and that back to corn stalk. I don't know where it went. CJ, why'd you have to scare the calf? So I guess we have a, another calf out here that uh, is bonding with mom before they go out to pasture. But uh, let's see if maybe he turns up. I don't see him yet. Maybe the herd will walk that way. There he is, see him? There's the little tiny tot. Look at him. So cute. So yeah, I guess I didn't know that there was a calf out here in this lot. I guess I don't know the situation with the calf in the barn. There's our bull, 18. I'm surprised they didn't put you out to pasture with the girls. Wait, that's probably, that's probably for the better, I guess. That's probably why. I guess I should have thought about that. Duh. How are you, big man? Good to see you. But there's baby walking around. Um, I guess I don't know the situation with the calf in the barn. I know uh, that the calf has been bottle fed. So I guess I don't know if maybe mom's just not bonding with it very well. That happens sometimes where mom and baby just don't bond very well. But uh, I guess I don't know the full scoop on that. But I guess there is another calf out here brought to you by the heifers. Look at that cute little guy. I guess I can't tell. I think it's a heifer calf. I can't tell from here. Little shrimp. Sticking very close to mom, which is very good. That's what we want to see. But I have a feeling here soon that they will be headed out to pasture. As well, I guess I don't know when the ones in the barn will go. I guess I don't know what's wrong with the calf. Looking at him, it didn't look like anything was wrong. He was walking around and acting like a normal calf anyway. But uh, Scott's here with the tractor. He's doing some feeding, I believe. Getting them all fed up. I don't know if he's just mixing feed for tomorrow or if he's actually feeding them. But I came down and told him what the scoop was, what, what, what we were doing. Told him that I was waiting for dad and we were gonna go get the sprayer and all this. But I just happened to check out on the cows, on the heifers, and I saw that other little calf out here laying down and CJ came up to it and it got right up and walked around with mom. I'll give you another look at it. There it is. In all its wonderful glory. So, I think I'm just gonna head back up to the pickup and just wait for dad. I, you, I would think it's not gonna be too much longer until he arrives. But it does take a while to fill those tanks up with water. I was uh, a part of that last year. And it does take a while. I just got in the pickup after my last clip. And look who's here. Carol. Let me back up here. Back up so that he can bring Carol in. Hey, hey. the tanks are full of water. The two tanks that are the water tanks are the two silver ones there. And then the ones in the middle are our chemicals that we use. Some of them anyway. But Carol is here. So I'm going to give him a ride back up to the shop. Grab the sprayer. And we'll be good to go. What a beast. What a beast truck. Alright guys. I just got back out here to where we're going to be spraying. I parked the pickup in the shade. Well, I guess everything is shade right now with the cloud cover, but I have her parked where there will be shade um, so that she doesn't get super, super hot. Carol is parked up there. And like I said, with the 8270 and the grain cart back in harvest season, I get to say it again with a different vehicle today. If, I, if it'll pop up by the stock trailer, my Uber has arrived. Here she comes.
somewhere. We got the boom unloaded, or unfolded, I should say. This is a 100-foot boom, and we're back here on the 25-acre patch on the steep hills. I'm just gonna be back here, and Dad is gonna turn on the sprayer. I'm just gonna make sure that all the nozzles, all the pumps, everything are working along the length of the boom. So the cool thing about the sprayer is like a lot of new modern technology with uh, field work, it has your, uh, you can do on your computer, you can do like the adaptive curves. So you can do your end rows and, and map out the field. And then once you get your end rows done and get it all mapped out, then you can turn on your auto steer and the auto steer will take over and make sure you get all the entire field, you don't miss spots. All right, Dad is currently folding up the sprayer because we ran out of juice. We ran out of fertilizer. Pretty much what we did is I took you guys along for pretty much the whole journey of uh, that back 25 acres, getting it sprayed way back there behind those trees. And then pretty much we got we got done with that 25 acres and we came out and we started on the outline of the big the main part of the field here and uh, we just outlined the waterways and the out and, and the end row of the field and we just kept doing that until we ran out of fertilizer so I'm getting out I'm gonna take Sadie for a little walk dad is bringing the sprayer up to Carol so that he can start mixing up some more fertilizer. And we're gonna fill it up the whole way this time. We're gonna do a full batch. We really wanted to stay as light as possible um, on the steep hills way in the back on this main part and I could see why. But, uh, so I'm just gonna go on over here and put Sadie on the leash and uh, take her for a little walk. I couldn't help it. I gave Sadie a little bit of a walk, let her go to the bathroom, let her play with CJ for a little bit, who, uh, CJ is still currently following me around. I couldn't help it. While Dad's still refilling the sprayer with fertilizer, I wanted to come see our little baby again th that's in the barn, and I got a good look at it, and it is a little bull calf by the looks of it. Yep, I think that's a little bull calf. Hey, buddy. Your bottle's not up on the bale anymore, so 
You must have got your bottle tonight. Did you get your bottle? Did you, did you, did you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. There's a sweet little baby. Want to suck on my thumb? Oh, sucky, sucky thumb. You cow slobber. This is, what, this is one of my favorite parts about bottle calves. It's if you have them in the shop, you're going to stick your thumb out and they'll like suck on it. He's not, he's not sucking very hard. Oh, here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to scratch his chin. Give him little chin scratches. Huh? My thumb doesn't produce milk. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a sweet little boy. Yeah, you're sweet. You're a sweet little man. But... Sooner rather than later, he will be a hot tempered steer. Just like the rest of them. Yes, I gotta go. I gotta go. Who knows when I'll see you again? Shoot, by next weekend, you guys might be out at pasture. And right now, you don't have an ear tag on you, so I can't tell which one you are right now. I can't be like, oh, let's go out and find number blank and blank, you know. He doesn't have a tag on him yet, so I don't know which one he is. Sweet little baby. I love calves. And I love the piglets, too, when we have uh, wiener pigs come into the hog barn. Those are, that's my favorite stage of raising pigs as well as when they're little. Just because they're cute and they're easy to manage and they're just a lot of fun. I like the little babies. When they get bigger, hi Ruby, you came to join us again? The bigger they get, the harder they are to work, and just the more of a, the more painful it is, to say the least. If I'm choring hogs, I can guarantee you that uh, my knee gets taken out by at least five hogs every day when I'm choring. It doesn't help that the knee that I said was hurting from getting out of the sprayer is the same knee that a couple hogs hit today, but that's all right. That's all part of it. I'm not old yet. I'll pay for it when I'm older though. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and just show, give you guys a little bit more footage of that little baby bull calf. Just because he's stinking cute. So who wouldn't want to see footage of a stinking cute calf? But uh, I'm going to put my Gatorade bottle in the pickup. And uh, wait out. I'll go up and help dad make up some fertilizer here. And we'll head back out into the field. We're still at it. We just got done with the perimeter of the entire field. You do not belong here. Old stocks. There we go. Make sure nothing else is clogging. Goody. The whole perimeter is done. Look at this girl. Woohoo! All aboard. All right, guys, it's now about 7.30. It is pretty much right after the last clip of me pulling that uh, those long stalks out of the boom. I'm taking Miss Sadie here for a walk, pretty much. Uh, we, were, we were down to our last 100 gallons in the tank when I was pulling that stuff out of the boom, so we didn't have much left that we could do. So we... So we did what we could until the sprayer was beeping at us saying, hey, we're out of uh, we're out of stuff. And we brought it up and dad is once again mixing another batch of uh, fertilizer. We have enough for one more batch for mixing purposes. I, I, I don't know if we're going to be spraying any of it tonight. Because I mean, yeah, there's probably still some waterways that need sprayed around and outlined. But... Uh, Sadie, what's so fascinating over here? The steers are looking at me like, what are you doing? 
our little bull calf in the barn is going crazy right now. But, but, uh, I have a feeling that we're pretty much going to be wrapping it up here. I have a feeling. Oh, Sadie, look who's coming. Sadie, CJ, come here. Come here. Sadie, look who it is. It's your best friend in the whole wide world. CJ! Come here, you! Sadie, look who it is! Yay, buddies! Yay, buddies! Oh, here comes Ruby to join the party. Here comes Ruby to join the party! Woohoo! <laughs> hey. Yeah, you still don't know Ruby too, too much yet. You don't know her near as well as you know CJ. So I still got to keep an eye on you a little bit with her. You know, my favorite looking steer in this lot has got to be that guy right there. I'm going to start calling him like Dalmatian. Just because look at all the little black spots on him. That's so cool. I love that outline. Everybody's going potty. That's very good. But yeah, that steer just looks, I guess I can't tell from here if it's a steer or if it was an open heifer. I assume it's a steer, but I just like his, uh, I just like the coloration. I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the pure black or the pure red or the pure grayish of the Charlays, but I like that black and white coloration. That's why uh, I like Holstein cows. Holsteins are uh, dairy cows. I like that look, that black and white look. There's something about it. And that's why Sadie's my favorite dog, because she's black and white too. <laughs> but, what a day it's been. What a video it's been. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually uploaded a video in about two weeks, because all the footage that you guys have seen has been very spastic. Very, I got, unfortunately, due to the way the weather was for the tax swap, I was only able to get about two minutes of footage of driving the mules. I thought I'd be driving multiple draft horse teams, and watching them go and all this and that but unfortunately the weather just didn't cooperate with us it was very cold and very windy and so it kind of drove a whole bunch of people away and it didn't help that we had tornadoes and high winds and thunderstorms the night prior so didn't get the kind of footage that i wanted to there but uh then of course we had some other little footage here and there but today was the most solid day of footage i've had in a while but in case you guys haven't seen it yet, um, like I said, I haven't uploaded a video in two weeks. Um, for the past couple of days, I'd say three, four days, I have been uploading shorts to this channel. On uh, You just go to my channel and you hit shorts. Instead of videos, you go to, you go to the shorts and you can scroll through and you can watch kind of like TikTok or something like that. Little reels, uh, little segments, little tidbits that I have taken from my past videos um, that I've kind of wanted to highlight again, like our our curious calf that came up to us uh, in the calf number four video. Um, that there's a short of that, a uh, bunch of different moments like that, little things like that. Um, if you guys do want to check those out, they are on the channel. Smash the like button on those if you guys enjoy them. I think I'm gonna do that one to highlight you know key moments that I can think of on my channel, but also if I if I go into a drought like I have for like two weeks where I haven't been able to upload a video, I can put out some shorts. So I'm still putting out content, but it's not new content, but it's kind of getting you guys by until I can get a video out. But other than that, there is nothing new that I can think of that's happened in the past two weeks, but uh, except for this nice weather. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is beautiful. It's probably down to about 70 maybe high 60s right now no breeze whatsoever oh my god it's the best night ever this is this feels amazing i love it we survived winter and we finally got to the good weather i love it so much but i hope you guys did enjoy this video i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here we had a lot of fun doing something that i've never done before and that is being in the sprayer and spraying i've sat in the sprayer a few times you know when it's parked and I've done like an equipment tour on it, but I've never been in it when it was in action. So I hope you guys did enjoy seeing that. 
If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. Spread the word of the channel, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.